What are you doing in an alley at night, alone? Do you want to be eaten by a monster? Monster, she says with a slight laugh. Please, you aren't as terrifying as you think. I've seen much worse creatures than you. Then maybe you shouldn't hang out in dark alleys. Not my choice, she points toward the dumpster. Trash goes in there. I finally realize she has a large black plastic bag slumped on the ground behind her. Why are you dumping your garbage here? The better question is why am I asking? The answer doesn't matter at all. She rolls her eyes and huffs. Because I work here, in this flea bag motel. Motel? Are you mentally incompetent? She points over her shoulder at the building behind her. That's the motel. Oh, I see. That fact had escaped my attention, because I had teleported my quarry straight into this alley, and there's no sign back here announcing what the building is. Well, go back to work, then. She eyes me up and down, licking her lips. Let's have sex. What? Two seconds ago she hated me. Now she wants to screw me. She's obnoxious and insane. The woman gives me another oh please look. Are you deaf as well as blind? I said let's have sex. You were trying to get it on with that silly girl. Now I'm offering you the chance to enjoy sex with a real woman. No thanks. You stink of disinfectant and garbage. Mostly, though. I don't want to get it on with her because she's so damn annoying. But her body... Oh, yeah, I'd love to explore that for days and days. Her posture wilts. Her head hangs down and she moans pitifully. That is not fair. Why does she have to look so sad? I've never been able to tell a pitiful woman to go to hell. I should walk away right now, find a less complicated girl to seduce. Something about this one makes me uneasy, though I can't quite figure out the reason why. Mortals who aren't my friends find me intimidating, usually. This woman doesn't. Time to exit this conversation. I march down the alley until I'm sure the woman can't see me anymore. Then I zip myself away to the place where I've taken up temporary residence, not far outside of town. No idea why I chose Phoenix as my new hunting ground, but I've just moved here, and I refuse to leave the area because of one rude woman. Since she seems to like hanging out in the run-down part of town, I can easily avoid her. Whoever that woman was, I will never see her again. Come on, sugar, he says, inching closer still. Let me show you what I've got. Oh, please. I know very well what you've got. I cross my arms. Maybe you were doing an adequate job of sweet-talking that silly child, but you ruined it when you started talking like a cowboy in a cheesy B-Western. His lips tighten, and his eyes narrow. It feels so good to knock him down a peg or two, since I haven't had the power to do that to anyone in such a long time. Maybe I enjoy it a little too much, because I can't stop my mouth from generating more caustic words. No wonder that silly child ran away. Talking like an ignorant lout is not sexy. You might have big muscles, but you are... He rushes forward, grasping my upper arms, and pulls me into his body. Oh, holy heaven, he feels good. All heat and hardness and male deliciousness. I haven't been this close to a man since... I swallow hard. Not since the night when another, much less polite man tried to stand in my way. I gave him a piece of my mind, and a piece of metal whacked into his skull. The scent of this man envelops me in waves of spicy, seductive maleness. It's pheromones, I know that. But my body wants me to sag into him and tip my head back for a kiss. No, no, positively no. Let go of me, I snarl. Why? You want me. He dips his head to sniff my neck, then groans. Damn, you smell good. 